Hello everyone, welcome. In this video, we'll be talking about linear regression. It is also to be known as the least square line. Let's start by talking about what is a linear regression line. We have a graph of pre-owned vehicle sales data. On the x-axis, we have the buying price, which is the price of the car initially bought. On the y-axis, we have the selling price, which is the price of car sold. We see some linear relationship between them. The higher the buying price, the higher the selling price. So can we predict the selling price by knowing the buying price? One way to do this is to fit a linear function and to make predictions by reading the output of the function. However, there are many lines that can be drawn on this graph. For example, we can draw a graph like this. We can draw a graph like that. So the problem becomes, what is the best one? Or we call it the best fit line. Each data point on the graph can be represented by x, i, and y, i, where x is the buying price and y is the selling price. Also, we know a linear graph is y equal to a plus bx. Again, the output is our prediction, and we label it as y height. So for each buying price, we can make a predictions on the selling price. Now, let me introduce the sum of square error, aka the loss function, in this case. When we're making a prediction, we want to make the errors as small as possible. So how do we define an error or the loss? An error is generally defined as a difference between the ground truth and our prediction, or the difference between yi and yi height. Graphically, it is the length between the data points and our prediction. This is an error for one data point. To evaluate the performance of the line, we need to sum up the error of all the points. That is why we have summation sign. But why do we need to square the error? It is because some data point, for example this one, will have the error be negative. So instead of increase the error, it actually be subtracted from the error, which make the error smaller. To fix this, we square it and make it positive. Then we substitute the equation above. Note that we can swap the order of the two terms, since it's been squared. If you look at the over loss function, or you can think about it as a function of total error, it is actually a quadratic equation. We now need to find the line that gave us the minimum loss. In other words, we need to find the A star and B star, which is the intercept and slope of our best fit line. To find the minimum, we need to take the derivative of L with respect to A. After simplification, we get A star is equal to Y bar minus X bar, where X bar is the mean of X and Y bar is the mean of Y. Then we take the derivative of L with respect to B to find B star. After simplification, we got b star is equal to the covariance of x, y over the variance of x. And a star is equal to y bar minus b star of x. Again, this is our slope and intercept for our best fit line. Hope you like this video. If you have learned something from this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and please turn on the notification. I'll be releasing more videos about machine learning and data science. See you guys in the next video.